What's up guys, we're over here bringing you another video. I'm going to be showing you how to do a do-it-yourself fishing pole kind of modification uh, for your pole so you can actually get your GoPro camera or whatever you have onto the actual line and get some really cool footage like this. Um, as you can see, it's really, really cool. You see the fish coming up. You can see some fish in the schools and it just really adds another perspective to your GoPro video and makes it look very professional. All right, so we have a fishing rod right here, of course, and uh, then pretty much we have the fishing line right here. Here is the hook. So uh, what I'm using for this actual mount is just the GoPro camera and then a meal mount so that's M-U-L-E mount. Uh, it pretty much allows you to connect two GoPros to one different uh, you know, mounting option if you want. Uh, what I'm using it for is I tied the end of the rope onto here. This is really strong rope. Uh, I tied it onto there, put the GoPro on. I'm actually using my SJ cam for this. Uh, make sure you take the floaty back door off because that's gonna make the camera float. Um, we had that problem, we were like, oh, I wonder what the weight is and the weights weren't working right, but uh, it's because the floaty back door all right and then on the other side I just tied another piece of rope put a small little weight on it and then put the fish hook on here so you can put the bait on there and then uh, when this goes in the water it should make it so that it's kind of bounced uh, the, the camera is actually gonna try to float up because there's all that air in the housing um, and then this is going to be right here so the bait is off of the hook and the camera angle can look right there Another reason I use the SJ cam is so I can actually look at the LCD screen that's built in. Um, I don't have a GoPro one, so the SJ cam worked well for that. Uh, one problem I did face is I needed a counterweight onto the camera because sometimes the camera would go up and the bait and the hook would be down further and it wouldn't be in the shot. Tie a little string onto here, put another fishing weight on, and it works totally fine. Um, yeah, so pretty much that's all you have to do. Um, this mount really comes in handy. I'm not quite sure what else you could use. Maybe some GoPro extensions. Um, the little extender bars that they include and, and tie little fishing knots onto there. Uh, but this mount really helped a lot and it's only about 20 bucks um, and it's pretty useful for do-it-yourself mounts so yeah this definitely is a really cool thing to do for your GoPro camera uh, it's another perspective and a really cool kind of shot you could show your friends so this has been another kind of do-it-yourself testing video Marvel out